y'all. Well, it's blueberry time. Do you like blueberries? Well, if you like blueberries, you need to think about pruning them. The biggest and tastiest blueberries come from, they're born on the strongest canes that are in the most upright position. And you're gonna find the best blueberries also to be on the newer canes. Proper training of a blueberry bush is essential to maintain its size, its shape, and its production. We have six blueberry bushes, and I've not been happy with the production of these plants planted in ground. We're making a major change this year to putting them in 20 gallon grow bags in uh, a modified kiddie pool system, which we'll be showing you the construction of that. But I feel like I can maintain the soil much better in the grow bags, and blueberries do quite well in containers. Blueberries need an acidic soil, uh, ranging in pH between about 4.2 to about 5.5, with 4.5 being kind of really where you want to be. We have extremely clay soils here, so that is a problem for blueberries. Clay will bind to the iron in the soil, and blueberries need iron, and they won't be able to take it up, so we're gonna make that major change. But before we do that, we'll be transplanting these in about two weeks, and before we do that, I want to go ahead and prune them so that we'll have less transplant shock during the time that we move them to their new home. So let's get on it. The best blueberries are produced on canes that are between two and four years old. Therefore, you're going to need to eliminate the older, weaker canes with very few buds on them. It's, a, it's like a constant renewal process in pruning your blueberries. And if you keep them pruned, they can last for years and years. One of the first things you want to look at to know the difference of your blueberry plant, if you can see these stems, these canes, in fact, they're even peeling their bark, they're quite a bit older. The new canes are those that have a reddish brown color, and we've got a lot of new growth shooting out of this older cane, so I'm not going to remove it yet. Also, you need to know the difference between a budding branch and a leafing branch. So I'll show you that now. Okay, with blueberries, the most production is going to be on the upright canes on the upper half of the bush. Right here at the tail end, you can see three little clusters of berries. It's not very many, which is another reason why we're going to make that change. But this, these little buds, each one of these buds will produce a cluster of about six berries. Looking down the stem, here, 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 you can see it, all these little bud breaks, those are where you're going to have leaves break and well, where you will also have additional branching for fruiting wood. As I said, your blueberries, the majority of your blueberries are going to grow on the upper half of the bush on newer canes that are around two to four years old. So it's not going to do any good to have these scraggly little branching off bushes. If you look at this one, even though there is some new growth, I don't see any buds, any fruiting buds on this whatsoever. So I'm going to take out that cane completely. When you take out a cane, you want to take it out as far as you can. Same thing with this little branching off here. So, can you see a leaf? This little twiggy thing. Get rid of it. Now this one back here, it does have some a little bit of budding growth on it but if you can see it's swinging back in to the tree and that is going to really limit the sunlight so out it goes
that's really pretty much it for this bush. It looks pretty good. We have some branching coming back to the center, but this has really got a nice set of fruit on there, so I really don't want to cut that off because I would like to have some blueberries this year. So that's it for this one. There are 10 basic steps to pruning a blueberry bush. First, visually observe the blueberry bush. Walk around it. Number two, imagine what it should look like when the pruning is completed. Three, look for the strongest canes with the best flower buds and save them. Four, remove all diseased and broken canes. Five, remove the dead twigs. Six, remove canes seven years old or older. Seven, remove weak and twiggy canes even if they have a lot of flower buds on them. Eight, retain strong canes with very large flower buds. Nine, remove any short low hanging canes. And 10, prune very hard once every few years to rejuvenate the bush. And keep in mind that selective pruning will help to stimulate new cane growth every year. Once you're through pruning, the bush should be narrow at the base open in the center and free of vegetative clutter. Happy gardening and grow you some blueberries. Bye. Have a good one. <laughs>